welcome back for another tips and tricks video brought to you by Accident and Acer. And in today's video, we are going to take a look at two quick tricks that can help you track student data in different ways when using Google Sheets. Now, my first trick comes from the world of conditional formatting, but this time, instead of looking just at one specific color and coding it to do something when specific conditions are met, we are going to take a look at the color scales. So first thing you're gonna do, you have your data set. Go ahead, highlight your cells that you want to work with and see visually in colors. Go up to format and then conditional formatting. Now it automatically does the default to the single color scale and the green box. Go ahead, change that to the color scale. And now it will adjust to the default color scale, which goes your lowest score is dark green, your highest score is white. If this works for you, awesome. I can see at a quick look, even clearer once I click out, between two and 10, or between one and 10, which numbers are the lowest, which numbers are the highest, just based on the color they are. Maybe going from green to white is not visual enough for me. So maybe I want to change the colors to make it easier for me to see. I can come into my default presets and try something different. So I can go ahead and change my default to go from green to yellow to red. And now what I'm going to see is between the lowest scores at green and the highest scores at red where all of these scores fall in the list. All of the ones that are more yellow are about the same score. All the ones that are more on the red side are about the same score. And it's a great way, quick visual look, how are things going? I can also change the midpoint of the scale to adjust how it's rating and adding to this. Because here's the cool thing about color scales. If I go in here and I change this one to a 1,100, it's automatically adjusted the scale to fit that new maximum value. And then all of a sudden it's a real washout. It's all yellow. But if I come over here to the midpoint option and I change it from percentile to number, and I say I want that midpoint where I'm saying the median of my numbers are to be the number three, I can see a different scale. What if I said I wanted it to be a two or a six? So you can see it's bringing in back some of those colors. Now, obviously on a scale like this, 1,100 is not gonna be correct at all. So if I put that back to a one, my scale changes again. So I can adjust this midpoint to be whatever I want it to be to showcase the data. And again, I can choose between a specific number, a percent, or a percentile as a way to view. And even if I change it to percent and percentiles, so 50% matches that five, but 50th percentile, we're going to have a different color scale. So I can see it in different ways. Now, my second trick helps you get a quick look at progress over time. So this is great for if you're using a progress monitoring tool on a specific child to track growth. All you have to do is take a series of data points like these numbers, and in a cell nearby, you type equals sparkling. And you can tap it once you've got it partially showing up, and then you just highlight the cells you wanna make the sparkline for and click enter and you can see it's giving me a little bit of a graph so I can visually very easy see well how all over the place are these numbers and from this I could tell my student is not making progress so it's a quick easy way to get a visual representation of the data it's not a super high-tech graph it's just a very quick line plot. I can see what's happening and it can give me something to work off of. So I hope these two tricks help you give you new ideas of looking at data with your students. And I look forward to seeing you back next time for more tips and tricks.